Me too. So we got another mini split here. And you can see we got Honeywell dampers here, but there's no way I can wire it in. They'd have to have a separate control board and transformer and all that other good stuff. So we're not doing that. But uh, I feel that take you long for the ride. And we're gonna we got a hardwired stat that's gotta get put in here. And they ran both because they didn't know, so alright, give me a second. So <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze in here and see shit. So I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> what it's looking like is I'm gonna have to get this jumper off. I'll show you. I'm trying to wire wire on the float switch. So right now right now we have continuity but I believe once I pop that off it will open it up you know what I mean until I can wire my float switch in it's like an on and off switch it's like a remote control so give me a second you can see that the pins here when I got it off in here and it's just wedged up in this shit I'm not having an easy time see now I don't have any continuity so that's good I'm gonna wire the float switch there so I got my float switch wired in I purposely leaving the wire long because the only way you can get to this you gotta slide the over plan over pan out so plug my stat wire in I gotta get some wire ties clean this up and then we'll we'll be going the units in a vacuum so all right dude, real quick i gotta move all this by so you see what i did i got the float switch i disconnected it flipped it upside down we're testing it and i'm tired <laughs> you see we got a code now cp uh, to me i think that believes control power so now we know our float switch works. That's one way to to confirm it, man. All right. See, now we're back up and running. Hi, right, man. See ya.